TT Tuesday 2. Hey traders, today we are going to be talking about the exponential moving average or the EMA. No matter who you ask, everyone's going to have a slightly different answer to what moving average is better. It might be the simple moving average because of this. Someone else might say the whole moving average. Someone else will say the weighted moving average. And then you may finally get the response of the exponential moving average, depending on how many people you ask. While there's many different types of moving averages, and we'll cover those all in different videos, today we're going to be focusing on the EMA. The EMA is a little different than most other moving averages in its calculation because it actually uses itself in its own calculation. Most other moving averages, while they might use some other type of moving average in their calculation, don't use themselves. The calculation for the EMA takes the price close, or the current price if you're talking about the current candle, and subtracts the previous candle's EMA. If you're working with the first candle in the series though, you'll take the SMA since you don't yet have an EMA to calculate. You'll then take that close price minus the previous EMA and multiply by 2 divided by the period plus 1. Take that answer and then add the previous EMA on. What this does as a whole is this makes it so that the most recent candle is what we're focusing on in our moving average and we're awaiting that most recent candle more than the previous candles in the series. As with any moving average, exponential being no different, the primary and first entry that traders are really taught is a moving average crossover. For our EMA crossover, we'll have that shorter term moving average and that longer term moving average. Our buy entry will be once that short period moving average crosses above our longer period moving average. Our sell will be when that short period moving average crosses below the longer period moving average. The way that exponential moving average puts this a little bit more beneficial than say a simple moving average crossover is that it's focused on that most recent price candle. Since we're focused on that most recent price candle, we have that more definitive for sure yay or nay on if the price is actually crossing over in the direction we want. If you're not really interested in having both of those EMAs on your chart, you can just do a price action crossover with the EMA. The thing with the period for the EMA and with most other moving averages is it's the theoretical amount of time before your price movement intersects with the moving average. So if we're using a 10 period, every 10 candles, the price is expected to go ahead and hit that moving average. And so this gives us one, an idea of when to look and come back looking for a trade setup, and two, lets us know about how long our trade is going to take place once we enter it. Because of this concept, our buy is going to be when our price action crosses above our EMA, and our sell is going to be when our price action crosses below our EMA. From that point, the trade will last about half or a little over half of that period. So when our price action crosses above the EMA, we'll buy and hold that for approximately five to six candles if we're trading a 10 period EMA. For the sell, we'll place that sell order right when we start crossing below the EMA. And once again, we'll hold that trade for about five to six candles until the price starts going the opposite direction. This really ties us into our exits. First exit, we sort of just discussed. It's that half of the period before the price starts to curve back towards the EMA. Now it's not always necessarily half the price. You may be trading a 10 period and you won't see another crossover for 20 periods. So what we're really going to be concerned with exit wise is the convergence between the price action and the EMA. While we're not yet crossing over, that price is going to start going bullish while that EMA is still going bearish to try to catch up with the price. And that's our indication to leave the trade because that's letting us know that in the somewhat near future, we're going to have that crossover with the price action going above the EMA and we're going to be entering the buy. So we'll get out of that sell. Same thing for exiting our buys. As we're going up and up and up, EMA is still going up to try to catch up with the price but that price action is going to reverse before the EMA and start heading down. So that convergence right there is key to exit our buy trade. The exit for the moving average crossover is pretty much the same thing, except instead of focusing so much on the price action and the candles, you'll really just be looking for that convergence between the two different EMAs. If you're in that buy, it's because your fast moving average or the shorter period is above the longer period moving average. 
And so once that fast EMA starts heading down towards the slow EMA and they start to converge, we'll want to exit because that's letting us know, very similar to that price action crossover, that we're about to have another EMA crossover and we're going to want to enter the opposite side of the trade. To add the EMA or any other indicator for that matter onto your chart, in Alveo, you'll go to the top right of the chart, you'll find the indicator icon, which looks like two line charts overlapping. Scroll down till you find the EMA, adjust the period for whatever you'd like, click OK and it should be on your chart. For any other platform you may be using, very similar, you'll go to wherever you select the indicators to add on the chart, find the EMA, select your period, and then it should be put on your chart once you confirm. If you liked this video and found the information useful or want to see any of our other trading tip videos, feel free to like and subscribe at the bottom of this video and that way you'll get notified anytime we upload a new one of these trading tips. Please also feel free to put in the comment section any strategies or indicators that you would like to see discussed. That way we can talk about them with you and give you guys the option to learn more to improve your trading. Thank you everyone and happy trading.